Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, I'm gonna make the video for the the care video for uh, the Dendro Babies Lucamellas that I just got. Um, there's one of the little guys right there. Another one up there in the Brahmin. And there's another one hiding back there. If you can see the yellow, but um, these guys are. Uh, Star frogs in general are kind of, I don't want to say very hard or advanced, but they require really high humidity, so you have to make sure that you can accommodate that. Um, out of many of the uh, dark frog species, leucomelas are probably one of the easiest to care for just because they're bigger in size and, uh, they're just generally more hardy but um with dart frogs you need to have they need to have a fully uh, naturalistic terrarium like this like they need live plants to keep their humidity up and they need um it to be as naturalistic as possible um the benefit of this also is a lot of like bugs will start forming in the or st start coming in the uh, dirt such as like springtails and wood lice so there'll be bugs for them to eat in there if you don't feed them enough um these guys need to eat fruit right now they're really small so they need to eat fruit flies right here there's a fruit fly culture you can get it from wherever you get your dart frogs from generally most pet stores sell them too uh, places like PetSmart and Petco are starting to sell them down a lot smaller, a little vile, but um, it's just a bunch of fruit flies in here, and then they reproduce in here, and this will last like a month, more than that probably. Um, and then you just want to, you know, dust those with calcium and vitamins and feed them to the frogs. Um, oh, I think one's going for a fruit fly right back there. If you want, to, yep, nailed it. But um. Humidity for these guys needs to be 80 to 100 percent. So the best way to uh, do that is with live plants, spray it a lot, and instead of using a screen top, use a glass top. That way the humidity can't escape. And then, I mean, it's pretty easy to keep it really humid with a glass top. Um, the other thing you want to do is at least if you have or if you're trying to breed them, or if you have like male and female, you definitely want to get a uh, cocoa hut and put a petri dish under it. And this species in particular will lay, usually lay their eggs in the petri dish. Um, there's three different uh, egg laying types of dart frogs. There's the ones that'll just lay their eggs wherever, which is like these guys. Then there are other ones that, then the other two both lay their eggs in um little reservoirs of water like in plants like in Brahms and one of them feeds them um unfertilized eggs the other doesn't so if you have one of those you have to check your Brahms and uh feed it accordingly there'll be more you can look for more better like care for that online but um as I said it needs to be naturalistic so the way you can either do a false bottom uh which it's hard to explain how to do it but you can look it up online it'll generally you'll find something or in this tank i have uh hide the high, like hydro balls underneath which help with the moisture and i have a layer of dirt uh, on top i have some leaf litter because that helps uh propagate springtails um the bag it's foam and then the pieces of wood are like in the foam so they stay there and then there's cocoa bedding on uh or like eco earth on the foam in the back um temperature for them uh between like 70 and 80 i believe is what you want it at about so generally room temperature is fine like if you just have the uh top and then a fluorescent light um, the light I have for them right now 
I just have this light up here and then I just have the light up here and then it's a compact fluorescent in there that you can get at Home Depot or any place like that. Um, um it's pretty much it for these guys. They're not uh they're more they're a total display animal, not to be handled at all. Um the thing I like about the Lugamellas as opposed to the other bigger uh dart frogs is they're a lot more active and they actually climb like the uh Azurus tend to just stay at the bottom of the tank. So if you have like a taller tank like this, they won't utilize as much of it. Um almost all species of dart frogs, as I said, are gonna need the fruit flies. Some of them, when they get bigger, like uh, Phyllobates, Terribilis, or Azurus, can have crickets, but they have to be pinheads, which are generally not very easy to come by in pet stores, and they grow very quick, so if you do breed them, you may not have a stale supply of pinheads. Um, they also don't need a water dish in here. They just need to be misted. And as long as there's like water in the Brahms, it's fine. Um, other than that, uh, there's not really anything else regarding their care, I don't think. So, I mean, they're really cool. Little display animal. I like them a lot. I definitely recommend getting them if you want to get a dart frog. Either I would recommend these or, um, these Zerus or uh, Aratus are pretty good starters. Oh, the other thing is, um, despite their name, they're not actually poisonous, at least not in captivity. They're only poisonous in the wild. They get their poison from the foods they eat. So once they go in captivity, they um, lose their poison. And especially captive bred ones won't even have any poison to begin with. So don't uh, be scared away by the fact that they're called poison dart frogs because they aren't poisonous unless yours are newly imported wild caught animals then yes they will still be poisonous but if they're captive bred or uh, long term captives they most likely will not they I mean they won't be poisonous so don't get scared off by the name um just like as I said, make sure they have a heavily planted tank. You can use Brahms, uh, Pothos, pretty much any um, tropical plant you can find at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. Or you can go online to places like Black Jungle and see what they have. They have a pretty big selection of tropical plants and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for their care. Uh, I'm going to make a feeding video. You saw him eat one back there, but I'm going to make... A video and I actually throw all of them all the flies in there because that was one that was in there from this morning so check back for that and let me know if you guys have any questions all right